welcome to home of fun and learning official today i will be solving international kangaroo mathematics contest 2019 paper of benjamin level class 5 to 6 so let's start question number one says carrie has started to draw a cat she finishes her drawing by adding more color which of the figures below can be her drawing okay let's now look at her drawing the main features that we need to uh, keep in mind is that this nose and these ears we have to compare them with all of the five options okay so let's now uh, take into consideration the nose this one the a has does not have any nose like this so it is not the answer the d also doesn't have this type of nose also c however b and c both have the similar nose that's shown here now we will look upon the ears shape of the ears b has this small pocket this small area of white covered uh, below the ears however c has a comparatively larger area covered since in our original photo uh, in our original sketch or drawing whatever you call it uh, we have a small white area covered this cannot be the answer so b is the right answer Let's move on to the next question. The Mayan people wrote numbers with dots and bars. A dot is written for 1 and a bar for 5. How did they write 17? Okay. So to make 17, you will need 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. And that's it. That will be equal to 17. So we need 3 fives. That means we will need three lines and for the ones we will need two dots. We need to have three lines and two dots. Which of the option has this? Yes, it's C. Let's move on to the next question. Now, this, this is a, a much greater question. It is, it is a good question. A digital clock shows the time 2019. What will the clock show the next time it uses the same digits? Okay, now uh, C. All of the options have the same digits. So, we cannot take into consideration the different type of numbers to cancel the options. Okay now we have to think here that option a cannot be possible because there's no such thing as 91 minutes so it's not correct answer now we are left with option b c d and e all four seem correct but they ask the next time it shows so the most nearest time the most nearest the nearest time uh, to 2019 technically it will not be nine o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning it will be nine o'clock at night that's the answer c now let's move on to the next problem there are 14 girls and 12 boys in a kindergarten if half of the children go for a walk at least how many people of them are girls now there's a, a important phrase an important phrase it's at least uh, so uh, first we need to find how many boys and girls went for a walk now we will add 14 to 12 get 26 now if 26 divided by 2 13 people went for a walk okay now we uh, they are asking for at least girls for so 
for at least girls to be possible we need the most boys right so let's say that all the 12 boys go for a walk how many left yes that's one so at least one girl needs to travel so that the number of students who go become half of the total students so it's e okay now move on to the next question question number five the sum of the dots on the opposite faces of an ordinary dice is equal to seven which of the following shows the ordinary one okay now they're saying that opposite faces like this face let me shading and this the this the back the total opposite face should have numbers that add to seven in order for it to become an ordinary die so uh, let's consider a it's five over here so there need to be two on the opposite side to become seven but notice this two is over here that means that this is not an ordinary die now let's look on b b has three on the front side so according to the logic the opposite side must be four however the opposite side cannot be four because we have four on the top this is also not the correct answer same with c same with d so six plus one opposite should be the seven but one is on the top so it's not only e is the answer which can have five on the opposite side to make it five plus two and it will result in seven ordinary number. so five is e here now let's move on to the next question question number six which of the following geometric figures is not in this diagram so it's very simple triangle we have a triangle here we have a triangle here can you notice this is small triangle small triangle so we have a triangle now square we have these small squares these are the small squares so square is also present now for regular hexagon we have to count the sides this is a regular hexagon one two three four five six this is a regular hexagon so we have a regular hexagon now regular octagon we do not have a regular octagon let's see the regular dotic con so uh, we have this that i'm shading with green is a regular dotic con so the correct answer becomes d regular octagon question number seven laura wants to color a two by two square of this figure how many possibilities are there now uh, look at this carefully first we will make the outer regions for four by four this is a possibility one two three four now we have four possibilities and we will look now at the inside so we have this possibility this one we have this orange one two three four four plus four we have eight possibilities in total so the answer is d eight now question number eight the six smallest odd natural numbers are written on the faces of a die Tony throws it three times and add the results. Which of the following numbers cannot be the sum? Uh, now let's let's look at the what's the smallest natural number. Natural number starts with a one. So if you were to write, write down all the six natural numbers, the smallest ones, uh, they would be one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. These are the smallest six natural numbers. Now, uh, uh, I want to tell you guys a, a quick, quick trick to do this question. Now, uh, if if it was the, which of the following cannot be the sum, 
so we have to look at the nature of the all the choices now uh, there's an important rule if you add three odd numbers three odd numbers you will always get an odd number considering this rule we only have one even number here that cannot be made through these if they are even thrown thrice or okay and whatever question number nine the sum of the ages of the group of kangaroo is 36 years in two years time the sum their ages will be 60 years how many kangaroos are in that group that's an interesting question now we have to look at the ages now we have to look the number which divides this 36 exactly that's 12 we have to work for 12 36 divided by 12 in the check our answers give three if each kangaroo has is three years old after two years it will be five years old if there are 12 kangaroos 12 times 5 will give you 60 years that's your answer 60 years so the answer to this question is b and the last question of the day question number 10 we will do four point problems in the next video question number 10 michael paints the following buildings made up of identical cubes their bases are made up of eight cubes which building needs the most paint now this is the most difficult of all the three point problems in this paper now we need to look at uh, and observe the things now they are saying that each of these cubes has bases uh, the each of these structures is made up of eight base cubes so we'll neglect the bottom cubes okay which the building that needs the most paints you need to understand will have the largest surface area that means we need to count the surfaces let's do with a now we have the bottom we have 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 and uh, 6 on the other side so we have 12 for a a kelly a we have for a we have 12 now we need to count the top top layers top for the a we have 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 mark down 6 here now we cut down the middle one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen sixteen now sum all the faces 34 same we have to do with bb also has 12 on the the last layer and now we have to count on the above it's one two three four i guess yes no it's it will be eight one two three four five six seven eight sorry it's eight on the top we have to count the middle ones now for the middle ones it it's ten one two three four five sorry uh one sorry one two three four five five this side and five the other side so it's going to be ten and b will be 30. now for c c also has 12 at the base uh the eight well the, at the base are all uh all the four all the five options of the five structures have eight at the base cube so we will we, we won't count those ones okay sorry um, now let's count the c's for the top the c we have six one two three four five six six and for the middle we have 14. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen it's fourteen now c will give us thirty two 
and for D, we have 12 as our, uh, we have counted it, it's the same for all. And for the top D, D for D, we will have, no, no, sorry, uh, I made a mistake. It is for C, C has also 6. D will have 12, 5 at the top and 14 at the, at the, at the this, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, uh, D will result in 31. For E, you will have 12 plus 5 plus 15 will be 32. So the one with the most, most, most sides exposed will need the most pain. So it's obvious it's A. Okay, guys, uh, here we will end our video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. I will make the sequel to this soon. So keep watching uh, Home of Fun and Learning official. Thank you.